if you don't know parity, then you basically don't know how to solve any big cube. But if you watch this video, I'm going to teach you how to do every single parity from 4x4 to 7x7. We're going to start with 4x4. Now, there are two different types of parodies you can get. And the first one, this is Ola parody, when you get, obviously, an impossible Ola. And this algorithm, it basically flips an edge. We're going to be doing a bunch of wide R, wide L, and U2 moves. So that might be a little bit easier to memorize. So wide R, U2, then rotate to the bottom. Wide R, U2. Wide R, U2. Wide R prime, U2. Wide L, U2. Wide R prime, U2. Wide R, U2. Wide R prime, U2. Wide R prime. And as you can see, we have a valid OLL. If you want the more intuitive explanation, then what we're going to be doing is we're going to do just a wider U2, then we'll rotate down. Then we'll do the same two moves twice. Then we want to go right down U2, left down U2, right down U2. Then, what, then we just want to go up U2, and then down U2, down. We'll be using that algorithm in a bunch of other big cubes, so make sure you're used to it. So now we have PLO parity, and this is where you have an impossible PLO. As you can see, this no, no, might be an A perm, but if you look here, that is a J perm. But you can't have both of them, so we have PLO parity. So I'm not going to be doing an intuitive explanation because the algorithm is quite easy. So you're just going to do this like little slice. So you're just going to do this little slice on the right side, or you can do left side, it actually doesn't matter, but little slice U2. Just regular U2, then little slice wide U2, and then do it again. So again, little slice U2, little slice wide U2, little slice wide U2. And if you want, you can do it on the left side, although I don't really recommend it, unless you are lefty. So make sure you can do that, like, M2 kind of flick right here. So that's either with your, like, ring middle... Or you could do middle ring, although I can't really do that. And make sure you can do YouTube flex. And that, this actually applies to the other Ola parody as well. All right, now for 5x5, five five, as you can see, we have this kind of weird edge and everything else is solved. So this means we have parody on the 5x5. Five five. This is actually the only parody that can occur. So what you want to do is just put that edge in the upper front spot. And then we're basically going to be doing the 4x4 four four OLL parity algorithm. So you do all the wider U2 stuff with one modification. So we're going to start it off. But when we get to here, instead of just doing a regular wider R prime, we're going to do a three layer wider R prime. And then just finish it off like that. So it's basically the same thing as 4x4 four four all or parity, except you do that 3 out wide prime. Now we're going to be doing 6x6. Six six. There are actually three different parodies you can get. Here's the first one. It's basically the same thing as 5x5. Five five. You can see this kind of weird thing going on. So you just rotate here and you do all the same stuff. So you just want to do like a just two layers when you're doing the wider. Don't do three layers, just do two. So just basically do the same algorithm. But here, you want to turn four layers down. And then, again, finish the algorithm off. Olo parity, this is basically the same thing as 4x4. Four four. So, it's going to be the same thing. So, what you do is you do the very inner layers when you're doing the R wide. So, R wide U2, and then basically the same algorithm as before, except you're doing three layers. Here we have PLO parity, so it's the same thing as 4x4, four four. so the algorithm, you want to do basically the same thing as the 4x4 four four PLO parity, except for the slices, you use like these two middle layers, and for the first move, you do just a U2, but when you do the next U moves, you want to do it three layers, like this. So again, double layer, slice, U2. Double layer slice, three layers, double slice, three layers. Now for 7x7, seven seven, there are actually three different types of parody, but they're all just the edge. So here's the first one, and it's basically, you have this flipped edge, but it's like these two outers are solved. 
So I think you can you might be able to guess what to do here. When you we're going to be doing Ola parody, but the amount of layers that we turn when we're doing the R wides and the L wides are going to be the layers that we have solved. So we're not going to be turning the very middle layer, we're just going to be turning the three outer layers. And make sure to do make sure to bring the middle layer down here. Here's the next one. It looks very similar, except you have it on the outer edge like this instead of like the inner. So what you do again is you rotate here, or actually you could just do an F prime if you want, it doesn't really matter. And then you do the same Euler parity algorithm, except you use just the outer two because these three are solved. And remember, when you get to here, you want to bring these five layers down. So basically bring everything in the middle down. And now we have this case. Now this is where like everything is flipped, as you can see here. Now what most people do is they just do the two algorithms that I showed before, and you can do them in any order and they will solve this. However, that's very inconvenient just doing two algorithms just to solve this. So there is a better way. Now what you can do is you can basically do just the slices, like you don't turn the outer lace, but you just turn the slices. So what you do is you use this slice and this slice, so basically the two slices just outside the middle, and you want to go like this. So you do the same thing as we've been doing before, the same basic algorithm, except you do just the slices. So we're going to do R, U2, then rotate, R, U2, R, U2, don't forget to do this, both of them, U2, L, U2, R prime U2, R U2, R prime U2, R prime. And it looks like that we've messed up here, but what you need to do is U2, bring these slices down, and then we've solved it. And if you want, you can do U2 just to restore the edge if that helps with look ahead. So that's how to do every single big cube parody algorithm, but I do want to go into one more thing, and it's a little bit off topic, but since I've already taught you these algorithms, then I think it might be a little bit interesting. So if you want to, so if you want to just do this, so this is basically pure parity where you solve this and nothing else, then if you do the regular algorithm, you get this. But what you can do is basically what I told you to do on the seven by seven. So you do the slice version. So you use this slice and this slice. Bring the middle down. And then you do U2, bring these down, U2. And that actually flips that edge by itself. So if that is somehow useful to you, then go for it. I just thought of another situation where that Ola parody, like the slice version can save you. So we've got Ola parody here. I mean, edge parody, sorry. Just wait for it and you'll see what I mean. So, and now we're gonna solve it. And now we've arrived at this situation. Ola parody. So you've had to do two parodies. You actually don't. Because I'm doing white cross, this edge will be in the yellow layer and it will be a last layer edge. So that's actually good. So what you can do is you can just leave it and you can ignore it while you solve everything else. So as you can see here, we've got we've currently got three edges oriented, which is obviously not possible, and we've got parody. What happens if we solve this and this with like this algorithm? is that these two will switch places, but this stays here. So when we do this algorithm, we still have to do another parody, which isn't ideal. But what you can do is you can use that slice algorithm. Instead of flipping this, we just flip the middle. And then what will happen is that we have an unoriented edge here, here, but we have oriented edges here. So that means, we won't have all our parody to deal with. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it interesting. Hopefully you learned something new. And if you can add anything onto this or you have a question, if you're confused by this, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.